dear brothers and sisters greetings to you in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ in this short video i want to talk about wise way of christian living and also foolish way of christian living and at the end i want to give an analogy from scientific history to understand this difference in a better way i want to take one verse from psalms 43 and verse 3 send out your light and your truth let them lead me let them bring me to your holy hill and your dwelling so here we see send out your light and your truth let them lead me psalmist wants the light of god and truth of god to lead him in his life what is this light what is the, this truth there is one single provision made by god which gives us light and truth that is god's word god's word is light for our lives psalms 119 105 your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path so god's word is light for us god's word is also truth for our lives lord jesus himself said in john's gospel 17 and verse 17 sanctify them in the truth your word is truth so god's word is light god's word is truth now god's word which is light and truth should lead our lives on the contrary there is chance that we may lead god's word it may look little surprising but i will explain that in little while but what happens when we are led by god's word if you see psalms 43 and verse 3 let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling when god's light and truth which is in god's word lead us they will bring us to god's holy hill god's dwelling place it means that when we are led by god's word our lives will become the dwelling place of our god the temple of our god let us see from isaiah 57 and verse 15 what are the characteristics of god's dwelling place where god wants to live i dwell in the high and holy place and also with him who is of a contrite and lowly spirit so god wants to dwell first of all in holy place and secondly with a lowly spirit so two main characteristics of god's dwelling place are first of all holiness secondly uh, humility these two things will happen in our lives only when we are led by god's word only when god's word leads us now on the contrary if we try to lead god's word or if we make god's word to follow us how can we do that when we want to try to satisfy our own desires by twisting and tweaking god's word or to support our own plans or to prove our points to drive our points when we use god's word for such kind of purposes it means that we are not led by god's word rather we are making god's word to follow us what is the result of it the result is exactly opposite of what we have seen just now instead of becoming dwelling place of god instead of being led to the dwelling place or to the presence of god we will go away from the presence of god our lives will go far from becoming the temple of god or the dwelling place of god that is the danger when instead of being led by god's word we try to lead god's word as i told in the beginning i just want to close this by giving one simple analogy from our scientific history in the olden days to be specific in the days of ptolemy people believed and people were taught that the earth is center of the universe 
and the sun stars planets all these were believed to be revolving around the earth that is called geocentric system after some time copernicus came and proposed solar centric system in this system sun is the center and earth is one of the planets that revolve around the sun now if you look back the thought process of geocentric system looks to us foolish ignorant thought scientifically in the same way if we instead of being led by god's word try to lead god's word in our own direction according to our own desires our own plans it is spiritually ignorance and foolishness so the wise way of living christian life is to keep god's word as the center of our lives and to be led by god's word or to live by god's word my desire and prayer is that god bless you and fulfill this promise of psalms 43 verse 3 in your life and in your family and also in your church if you want to become blessing for others please share this video with others may god bless you